To all the geeks and nerds, welcome to another episode of Beyond Logic. And we're starting off in the iron farm. And you can see by all those lights, that means that we have a full stock of iron ingots. All of our storage is totally full up. So let's check this out. Oh yes, I've been AFK here on and off. And obviously while I've been building and things like that, we have been gathering up iron and every single one of these double chests is now full to the brim of iron ingots. Oh, there's Tony Stark. I am Iron Man. Oh yes. <laughs> so I guess the next question is, how much iron do we actually have? Well, let's do a quick calculation. So we have, we have uh, six rows, we have 12 columns of double chests and each double chest has 54 slots and each, each slot has a stack of uh, iron ingots. So if you multiply all of that up, it gives you 248,832. So that's quite a lot, but that's not all. If we get around here and have a quick look behind, you'll notice that we also have a hopper for each and every chest. And each of these is full up with iron as well. So if we multiply all of that up, six times 12 times five slots times 64, which is a stack that gives us an additional 23,040. So in total, we have got in this storage system, 271,872 iron ingots. So hopefully that is going to do us for the time being. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about iron when we update. Uh, That's going to be something we're not to have to worry about for quite some time. But great, Scott. What are we going to do today? Well, we're going to do a project right underneath the Iron Man, under here in this big wide area. And I'm a little bit concerned that this isn't big enough. We, I might have made something that is uh, too big, but that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. I've been doing some sketching and creative and I've come up with something that I want to build. So uh, the general idea is, we'll get into the details of it, but the general idea here is that uh, I want to have uh, a good place to spawn. So if I die and I don't have a bed, which is, has happened to me recently, <laughs> I want to come back and I want to be enclosed in a safe location where I can gear up and uh, not be uh, not be bothered by mobs, that kind of thing. So I have a nice area rather than just spawning in this field. That would be nice. And also I'm thinking about episode 100, which is coming up. And uh, I want to make sure that when uh, when peeps get to the world download and they spawn into the world, they spawn into a nice place here and uh, you have something cool to look at rather than just the Iron Man above. All right. So that is the plan. Now, I'm just about to go and go and start some streaming. We need to go and collect as much uh, as much uh, clay as possible. And uh, that is what we need. We need a whole bunch of clay. So let's get going. Let's go over to the stream and collect some clay. Balls. Clay balls, that's what I'm after. But this damn thing doesn't work at all. <laughs> so I'm using the concrete maker. Uh, I thought, because uh, normally with the concrete maker, so you can place concrete powder and hold down your pick as well. So hold down left and right click together and you can mine it super quick as you're placing it. And I thought I could do the same thing with the clay and the clay balls. But unfortunately, if I click them, if I hold down both mouse buttons at the same time, just this happens. I start mining that block at the back, which is no good. So uh, I'm not going to, Keep doing this left and right click that's a bit boring um we're getting some stuff but it's pretty slow so i'm going to uh, go over and probably make a tower of those and just mine them down really quick so we'll do that in a sec but i've got quite a lot i've got uh, all of this in here and all of this here so we need to do that and that is because we need to smelt up all those balls because we need some bricks because bricks are going to be one of the key uh, the key things we need for our build today. Um, on the stream, we gathered all of that stuff up, and we also went over and gathered up a whole bunch of uh, quartz, which I've already I've already uh, already crafted up. So that's really hopefully that's going to be enough. But yeah, let me uh, get rid of this, get this all ready, and then we can make a start on preparing the area. Come for it, Marty! It's the Libyans! And we are making good progress. I've uh, started clearing out the area. And uh, as you can see, let's have a look from the from the skies. If I can fly it. All right. <laughs> well, let's turn around here. So you can see I've started clearing out this area. So basically, uh, I've started clearing out some of this area too. 
all the grass has grown back. But so yeah, basically this is the level. This is going to be our floor level. And yeah, so we're going to have to fill in some of this stuff over here. Got to take this down another two blocks, this area here. And roughly, I think I need roughly a 200 by 200 area. So uh, it will fit in here. But um, yeah, need to uh, need to flatten this out a little bit, fill all this in here. And our main building is going to be over this. This is our world spawn point over here. So we want to respawn back. And this is where our main building is going to be. Now, uh, you can probably guess what it's going to be. And uh, if I've, uh, depending on how much progress I've done, it'll be in the thumbnail. But yeah, we are uh, going back to the future and we are going to build we're going to build Hill Valley. We're going to build the clock tower right here. And uh, we're going to have the center over here. And then all the shops and uh, all the buildings around it. Like we're going to have the uh, the, uh, the the cafe over, that's going to be over there. Um, yeah, all sorts. So uh, yeah, uh, I've got a plan. <laughs> it's going to be good. Uh, but yeah, let's go for this. So obviously in Back to the Future, there are different versions uh, of all the places. And we are going to go for the 1955, uh, the classic um, when the lightning strikes and hits. Now I did think about building this uh, over there by our village where we have uh, the, the creeper, you know, the Charles creeper and uh, the skeleton uh, with the skeleton uh, kind of factory there. Obviously we use lightning for that. So that would be more fitting, but uh, unfortunately this uh, won't actually fit over there. There's not enough space. So uh, that won't work out. And I was also thinking about doing maybe the, the Avengers tower under here because it kind of matches with Iron Man. But uh, if you build a tower under here, then it's going to kind of come up and it's going to obscure the Iron Man itself. So uh, yeah, we're going to do a little bit of jiggly pokery and we're going to have uh, uh, a spawning into a uh, hill valley when we uh, when we come into the world. So that's going to be pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to clear out some more of this area, get uh, get some of this stuff filled in and then uh, yeah, we can start the build. And after a few hours work, we now have a nice flat plateau to start building hill valley. And I'm all prepared to start the building work. I've got my Kelvin Kleins on. We're all ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> so here is the world spawn point right in the center and uh, we've got a lot of space around us now the only thing i'm thinking about now is uh obviously i know how big i'm going to build this thing and you don't just yet but uh, it's going to be quite big and i'm just wondering whether the position of this is really that ideal so originally i was thinking that the the tower the uh, the clock tower you know the courthouse uh, we'd be able to spawn inside now we could do that still but i don't think this is enough space here to have um, the big green sort of square that's out the front and then the shops and the other buildings around it. I don't think that's going to fit. So what we might have to do is have the clock tower further back over there somewhere. And then you could spawn in on the inside on the big green area, the big green square. So as long as we make it all spawn proof and all, all, all kind of lit up and safe, uh, you'll be able to come in, you'll spawn in here. You'll be in the center of Hill Valley. You'll be, able to walk, you'll be able to look around and see all the shops. And I think that might be a better a better way to enter. You know, you'll sort of see, rather than being cooped up inside a building, not there where you are, you'll kind of come in and bam, there's the clock tower right there. And then all, all the shops around you. And then if you need to gear up or whatnot, you can go into one of the shops. Maybe we'll uh, uh, make it obvious where you need to go. So I think that's what I'm going to do at the moment. I think that would uh, it would fit and I think that's probably a better experience for everyone so that is what we're going to do so the next job then is to uh, I think I'm going to place down some like uh, some outline blocks some scaffolding blocks just so I can see uh, the kind of space we're playing with and make sure everything's in the right in the right position and then we can start building the clock tower and here it is, here is Hill Valley. We are all done, episode over, <laughs> no need to continue. No, so this is uh, this is a little a little kind of a plan that I've put together, a little mock-up of what we're gonna be building in survival, but obviously at the bigger scale. So uh, here in the center, we have uh, the town park. And uh, in the middle of that, we have this little war memorial. There's a little flag there and stuff. And then obviously we've got some, some benches that go around the edge and you can see the kind of pathway that we're gonna have in the center. So that's how that looks. Over here, obviously we have the clock tower right at the end with the clock. And then we're going to have a little cable that goes down here that connects to the lampposts, which is going to power the DeLorean. And here's the road where the DeLorean gets up to 88 miles an hour. And there's the flame trails as it disappears and uh, obviously crashes into the cinema at the other end. So there's that. And uh, yeah, so I've tried to work out what all of the different uh, buildings are, all the different shops. So I've used a combination of uh, some various websites and also I've watched through the movie and been pausing stuff and making notes. So here are all of the shops uh, that we're going to be building uh, eventually. So I won't talk about all of those in detail, but you get the idea. We we know what we're doing over here on this. This is the corner where we have the cafe, famous cafe. And yeah, a whole bunch of stuff over here. The Texaco garages over here somewhere there. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. So this is going to be going to be pretty good. Going to be pretty good. So uh, yeah. So this is the, the what we're going to do today in, in the main is the clock tower. That's the that's the big build. And uh, I've already marked out um, these all of these areas uh, in our actual world. So let's go, let's go over there so I can show you the scale. 
And as we fly on down underneath the Iron Man, you can see that I've started laying out some blocks just to get a sense of uh, how much space we're going to need for this build. And it's uh, a bit bigger. <laughs> it's a bit bigger. So let me uh, let me come down here. So here is the world spawn point in the center. And you can see we've got this nether rack here. This is a 20 by 20 square where uh, that kind of goes out to. Uh, this is the area where we're going to spawn in from. So we could spawn in on any of these blocks. Um, so we need to make sure this is all going to be nice and safe and secure. And I've used these leaves here to kind of give us the outline of uh, of the central park. So this is going to be pretty big. So the park is going to be 58 by 58. So uh, yeah, quite big. <laughs> so over this side, this is where the road, this is the road where the DeLorean goes up to 88 miles an hour and goes this way and uh, obviously disappears. So that's going to be pretty fun. And over here, I've got these white concrete. This kind of uh, shows us the footprint of the town, uh, the, the clock tower. So that's there. So here you can see we've got some pavement here with there's going to be a road there. There's going to be some steps that go up there up to the building. Now over here, we're going to have to do some stuff with the terrain here because we need a bit more. We need a bit more. If we can need a bit more road, <laughs> we don't have enough road to get up to 88. <laughs> so we've got to do a little bit of work on that front. But yeah, this is the kind of general size of it. And I've cleared out a bit more space. And over here, this is where uh, the cafe is going to be. So here's is the pavement here. So I guess the pa the cafe is going to be roughly, I guess in this spot, if you can imagine. So there's the, there's the park there. So the corner of the park is going to be over there somewhere. Then, a, then we cross the road and then over in this corner is where the cafe is going to be roughly here. Now our, our town, our kind of village is over that way. So we're going to have a pathway that's going to go through the wood over there uh, once you walk past the cafe. So, <laughs> all right, I think we know what we're doing. So let's get on with this. Let's start this building and yeah, let's get this clock tower done. And here we are swooping into Hill Valley. There is the Central Park, as you can see. And I've done the outline, the, the wireframe, if you like, of, uh, of the clock tower. So that's all there looking pretty cool. So you get a better idea of the scale now. And it's probably a little bit hard to tell earlier, but uh, yeah, this thing is not too small. <laughs> so here are the roads. So here's the width of a road, pretty big. Uh, but I think that gives us enough scale uh, to do some interesting stuff later on. And of course, we're gonna have some shops down this side, as we saw on our miniature model. And over here on this corner here is where the cafe is going to be. So yeah, this is all coming together nicely. Looking pretty good. All right, so I think what I want to do now is I just want to uh, get this uh, get this clock tower done, finished off. So I've got to fill all these walls in. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. And then uh, once we've done that, we can make a start on these roads and the surrounding area. All right, let's get cracking. Check out this guy just hanging out. <laughs> I think he just, he just uh, spawned in that window. But yeah, here we are. Here it is, all done. Let's have a quick look around. So it's not quite finished. Got uh, a couple of minor things just to finish off. 
but in terms of the clock tower itself there it is not too bad not too bad but of course there is something missing I'm sure you can work out what that is <laughs> we need a clock uh, there's no uh, a clock tower a clock uh, is just a tower so <laughs> let's get this in so uh, on top of that also we need to finish off these gargoyles so obviously if you remember in the movie uh, there's a part where doc has to come out and he has to uh, attach the line when it uh, breaks and uh, yeah he uh, ends up holding onto one of these gargoyles where he tries to make his way across so uh, yeah he comes out of these little holes here Ooh, comes out of these little openings he'll crawl out of here but uh, yeah these gargoyles need finishing off and i've got the perfect way to do it we've got these dragon heads so if you put one on that side let's go over to this side as well and just quickly do that let's get this on there it is right let's clean up our mess a little bit as well and as you can probably guess uh, i'll try my best uh, to do a clock in here just using blocks but because it's so small, even though the building is quite big, uh, it wasn't really working out. So I'm going to go into cheat mode and <laughs> I've done a bit of texturing on a painting. So I think if I place it here, there it is. First time lucky. <laughs> there is the clock. That's the actual clock from Back to the Future. And of course, it's at four minutes past ten, the time that lightning strikes. So that is perfect. So let's now fly down here and have a look, see what it looks like. Oh, yes. Check it out. <laughs> yes check it out 1.21 gigawatts <laughs> all right so that's the clock tower all done which is pretty good i've got a bit of spawn proofing to do on the top going to put some carpets down and uh, yeah that's that stuff done and i want to make sure that everything over here is all spawn proof i've put in a few lights i've hidden a few lights underneath here so that's all good but uh, the inside uh, it's still looking a bit ropey. <laughs> we need to do some work in here um, i want to make this uh, i'll probably i'll probably wall off a lot of this stuff but to have a room in here where you can gear up maybe a bunch of chests where you can get armor, food, and all sorts of bits and pieces like that um, to start off your, your adventure once you spawn in, because you're going to spawn in, in here. So obviously we need to spawn proof all of this as well. You're going to hide some lights, and we've got a bit of work in here to do as well. But yeah, that is the uh, that is the clock tower all done. Zoom in there, looking pretty nice. I've decided we should try and keep this guy. This guy has spawned in there. I've got some gray concrete behind just to kind of uh, make it look all right from a distance. But uh, since we've got that guy in there, let's uh, let's keep him. So I've got a name tag ready to go. So let's just hop up here. Hopefully this will all work out. Name tag, Biff. There's Biff, <laughs> Biff Tannen <laughs> in the window. All right, let's make like a tree and get out of here. And we're coming in from the direction of our starter village and here you can see i've added a whole bunch of roads and pavements or sidewalks for the for the americans the sidewalks i've added them all the way around so now this is looking pretty good you get a good idea of the scale of this thing that we're doing so i think next episode we're going to do the buildings around the outside um, but for this episode we've still got a few more things i'd like to do so if we go around this way i'll show you around the back as well so it's even got a little road around the back which is pretty good uh, i want to add some more detail to the uh, the clock tower it's looking a bit bland at the moment but uh, we'll come back to that another time but uh, for this episode i think what i want to do next is a couple of things so let me show you in fact also i've added a few details so i've added a big tree on this side a tree on that side with some lamps as well and uh, done a bit of work to make sure this is all spawn proof on this side so that's all done uh, i might look at uh, once we upgrade to 1.14 might look at the slab options and see if there's something better we can use uh, but for the time being yeah we're going to go with that and that's uh, pretty good and actually inside i've just started to uh, making a making a like an initial room in here so nothing too too uh, impressive just yet but uh, we can turn this into a nice room uh, in due course uh, that's to do as well so the other thing I'd like to do this episode, I think, is I want to uh, make sure that all of the all of this uh, inside is all done, all spawn proofed, uh, get rid of all the torch spam and uh, get the memorial in the center all done. That would be good. And also, if possible, if time allows, um, I'd like to get a cable that comes down from there and comes all the way down to here, because over on this side, we're going to have um, the lampposts on this side and also the other side of the street with the cable that goes across for the DeLorean to hit when it goes and it goes that way into uh yeah into the future <laughs> so that's the plan 
So the next thing actually is I want to get a tree down in this corner. So let's do that next. Now to grow this tree, I want to make sure it's uh, it's one of the big oaks. Now I saw a trick a little while ago. I can't remember where I saw it, but I saw a trick a while ago uh, to guarantee you always get a big tree. I'm not sure how far away to do this. Maybe let's do it here. But if you put uh, some slabs around this tree, so let's do this and then slabs on the bottom all the way around. And then we get rid of that and then we bone mill the tree. We should get a big tree, hopefully. Let's go. How much bone mill are we going to need? <laughs> Come on, big tree, go. Tree, <laughs> grow. Wowzers, right, let me get some more bone mill. <laughs> okay, trying again, some more bone mill. Oh man, this is taking forever. There it is. There it is, it grew. Not a very impressive one. <laughs> it is a big one. You've got the log there, but it's not a very good one. Maybe I'll try again. <laughs> okay, here we go, trying again. Of course, this tree is very important. This is the one that falls down and uh, goes on top of the cable. So we need to have this one here. Come on, tree, grow. There it is. It grew. Ah, oh, that's a better one. That's a better one. All right, we'll go with that. <laughs> I'll go with that one. Right, let's get rid of these. Get rid of these slabs. All right, cool beans. Right, so the next thing is let's get uh, let's get this cable coming down onto uh, onto the uh, the lamp post over there and uh, get this uh, the central green area tidied up. And with that, we're all done. <laughs> well, all done for today at least. Still got quite a bit to do uh, on this project, but we'll finish that off next week, hopefully. So we're here at the courtroom with the, obviously the clock tower above us right there looking cool. So I've added I've added some iron bars here. This is supposed to be the cable that comes down. Um, I think iron bars probably the best option. Maybe there's a better way to do it. But uh, yeah, that's supposed to be that. So we'll look at that properly in a minute. But uh, as we walk into here, here is our central park area. So I've planted some trees hidden all of the lights under underneath the old, uh, the old leaves, the old leaf trick. And uh, in the center here, we have this war, memo war memorial. Um, so that's there with a flag behind it. American flag, that should be, you know, in miniature. <laughs> so that's that. Looking pretty nice. And over here, we've got the welcome sign. So this is the sign that's, uh, that says, uh, says, welcome to Hill Valley, a nice place to live. <laughs> so there we go, all looking good. So on the outside over here, the other thing we've done is uh, we've added some benches around the outside. So we've got this bench here, got another one on the other side and also on the front as well. And here is the line where the uh, DeLorean has to, hit, has to hit 88 miles an hour. And there's the cable that goes across tied to uh, the two lampposts. So there we go, all looking good. So let's take off, have a look from the air, see what this thing looks like. So there we are coming in, looking at Hill Valley, looking good, a good start. Yeah, so as I said, uh, next week we're going to uh, work on the outside, get all the buildings around the outside done. But uh, yeah, for the main square and uh, and the courtroom there, looking good. Really happy how that's turned out. Really nice. All right. What do you think? <laughs> and that brings us to the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please hit the like button. And if you are new, then feel free to subscribe. And if you've got any comments or suggestions or any kind of feedback, then get it in that comment section. All right, my geeks, until next time, where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs>